Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Chairs. Today we've come to Swampool near Falmouth. Swampool is very near Falmouth. So today we're inspired by an email that we received from George and Ginny. They used to walk between, well, Gillen Face, which is just around the corner there, to here, Swampool, probably not on quite such a windy day. But then they used to go around Swampool, which is a natural lagoon here in Falmouth. We're going to incorporate that plus a four and a half mile circular walk, taking in Mainforth as well. So for our walk today, we've parked here. This is the Gillen Vays Long Stay Car Park. It's September 2020. You're paying £5.30 for up to four hours and £8 for 24 hours. Literally just got out of the car, it's the first place that you come to. So you come out of the car park, head down towards the beach and you come to Queen Mary Gardens. It's beautiful. It is, it's quite lovely. Even at this time of year, September. Yeah. Loads it's of colour, scene, yeah. it's, it's brilliant. A, a palm tree. Yeah. <laughs> In their email to us, George and Ginny say one of our favourite walks is Gillen Vase to Swampool along the coastal path. Unfortunately, a few years ago, George fell seriously ill and was left unable to walk. After rehab, he now walks with crutches. We are hoping to surprise George and Ginny today. So George and Ginny, you probably haven't seen this view for a while. This is just for you. one today so we're just going to head on down now it's not far into Swampool. Swampool Beach. He's escaping. <laughs> oh the youngsters. You might have come to Swampool Beach yourself and never noticed this gate. But this is the other end of the outlet from Swampool Lake. Now obviously we've got the fresh water flowing out there at the moment with the tide down, but as the tide comes in, it reverses and it does allow a bit of salt water into the lake, creating a unique habitat. Every beach in Cornwall, isn't it? <laughs> oh, pretty. Have you got an idea for what you're going to do from this beach then, Sarah? No, I haven't even really looked. We're doing a walk today, aren't we? But I'm sure you'll take some fabulous photos, so it might come in handy. I love those beach huts. Have you seen them? Yeah, yeah. It'd be great to get them in a little project, wouldn't it? But I didn't expect to find any sea glass. I don't know why, but it's here. Our walk today is taken from the Southwest Coast Path website. So these walk instructions actually start from Swampool Beach car park and it says walk a short distance along the road towards Penance Point and take the first turning on the right. I remember doing this walk frequently when the children were little we'd park at Gillen Face, walk over and then they'd get an ice cream and of course that would give them the energy to get back and play on the beach. And if we were lucky, we might get a quiet walk around here, mightn't we? 
remember that. <laughs> you had um, Emily on your backpack at one point, didn't you? Like she was like banging me on the back of the head all the time. Yeah. Go faster, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. so this is tra quite tranquil, walking along this little path, and you do get small little glimpses across to the actual lake there. We haven't been down here for a few years. I always remember seeing more of the lake. Can't really see much. You can see the water in there. I guess it's best for the wildlife. We will find you a glimpse of it. Scratching your head already? Well, there's a public footpath sign here saying go left, but I'm pretty sure the instructions for this tell us to keep going to the end of the nature reserve. It did say take a left. Let's just check. Okay. It says follow the road as it continues to sweep around to the right. Well, we did a right hand junction too, and then the left, well, it's kind of wiggly, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And stay with it as it travels along the woodland bordering the swan pool, which we can only just see through the trees until you come to Swanvale Nature Reserve. I think it's further. Yeah, I do. So. Onwards then. Alright. But well, we can always come back. I love an information board, Sarah. Have you read it yet? Well, every part of it, it says, Welcome to Swampool Local Nature Reserve. But the interesting bit to me is this one, the changing face of Swampool. And it says, did you know that the pool you see here today used to be part of the sea? Ah, no. It says the area was cut off by a shingle bar, which formed after the last ice age, and a freshwater lagoon was created. The lagoon was three times larger, and its water level three meters higher than it is today. The road that you see between the pool and the beach sits upon the original shingle bar. So this goes on to say that in 1826 a culvert was dug through the bar, draining much of the pool into the sea and leaving the water level you see today. Water still drains out of Swamp Pool through the culvert at the southern end. However, at high spring tide, seawater rises above the culvert and flows back into Swamp Pool. As a result, the pool is now brackish, a mixture of salty and fresh water there are a total of six streams which feed into Swampool. So I've been told if you want to be a wonderful nature photographer, there's one thing you must have, Sarah. What's that? Well, it's not a camera, but that's useful. You need loads of patience. Yeah, I can imagine that. I ain't got any patience, sir. Like an empty hospital, Sarah. No <laughs> not... patience. So it's worth just coming up a little bit further if you're going to do this walk. Beautiful view here today. I'm so glad we found it. Stunning. Turn left onto the lane leading uphill shortly afterwards, which... Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was left. No, look, I have to do that. Left for left hand. How did you do right then? So what happens if you're left-handed then? Well, it's left, and, but I'm not, so it doesn't matter. It's left and right, it works. So that would be Jeff, wouldn't it, because that's like a J, so that doesn't work, so it's got to be left. It can't be Jeff. Couldn't sure controls with Sarah and Jeff. <laughs> well, I've learned something today. We've come up there, up the lane, and it does say it'll go uphill shortly afterwards, but it seems to be bending off to the right. There's a public footpath no, there's a here. Post here but there's no sign on it. And there's another one just up the hill as well. And the instructions just say follow the lane. Oh, fun. Lost. Are we near Falmouth and we're lost? That, no, you can't go up there. It says it's a private road, Bosvale Community Centre only. So we're already consulting the ordnance mm. survey. I so you we can are correct, see it. We're supposed to be coming up this path here. And I think where we are, we, we were at that point there, and there's another path leading that way. Yeah. Or into so I, I think we are on the right one. We definitely need an ordnance when we do these yeah. ones. So we know where we are, don't we? We're in Boslawick. We're well, just now in the middle of a housing estate. But that is what Boslawick is, isn't it? It's yeah. lots of residential housing. It is. So eventually it leads onto the road. Well, we know what road that is too. It's up near the Buslawick Inn, isn't it? So we're getting a bit anxious now because we have actually got another thing on this afternoon. So we've got time pressure and we're like, we've 
I've done none of it because we started in Gillen Bay. expecting to get lost. In Falmouth? No. Gonna have right. to make a cool scene. Right, well let's go this way for a bit and see where we go. Okay. Our engagement this afternoon is actually with George and Ginny that wanted us to do the bit between Gillen Bays and Swampool. We thought it would be a lovely idea to surprise them and meet up with them. And it's all been arranged through their son and it's all ready to go. Okay, and we can't here. get to Mainport. <laughs> so we're there, yeah. but we should be up here. Okay. So I think the path we did take in the first instance was correct. I think worst case scenario is if we get part way into the walk, and we know we're gonna, because we know roughly how long it will take us to get back, just retracing our steps, we'd just have to do that. And leg it. Yeah. We just asked the post to. If you lost, ask the postman. <laughs> yeah. It's up in those new tree, oh, those trees, those green trees, some peach coloured houses and they're new. So we reckon they've put this new housing development in and it's diverted the footpath a little bit. So we'll just have to go with our noses. I don't think this is right because we're now going through housing estates again. Yeah, it's supposed to be footpaths. Okay, new plan. So, it's 25 past 12. We need to have lunch. We're nowhere near Mainpool. And we've got to walk back for three o'clock. That's tight. So at one o'clock, if we're not back on schedule, we can go back to Swampool and just walk part of the cliff path, time it, make sure we're back for three o'clock to surprise George and Ginny. Okay, where are we going now? I've absolutely no <laughs> idea. So we've spoken to one of the people that live here and they've suggested we come up this path and we'll rejoin where we need to be. So if we go this way. Here's the other half. Okay. Tours of housing estates with Sarah and Andrew on Cornish walking trails. <laughs> Getting very lost. Are you enjoying this? Yes, I'm enjoying this a lot. <laughs> We're just constantly faced with forks in the road. The guy on the pole there, he's obviously lost he's going as well. Up. He's going up higher so he can have a good old view. After 20, 25 minutes of walking through housing estates and developments and taking the guessing. Yes, I'm enjoying this a lot. What lovely houses they were as well. <laughs> We found our road, we think. We're back on track. And it's before one o'clock, so we're going to go for it now. But we're going to be hard pushed on time, so this might be speed filming. Ah, oh, allotments. Little sheds. This week I've mostly been eating cabbages! We are now resorting to catching up some time by eating on the go, aren't we, Andrew? I haven't really been eating cabbages. <laughs> no. <laughs> what have you got today? <laughs> Tuna and cucumber. Tuna and very nice too. Mm. It's very pretty here. Oh, that's actually main pulse. That's main pulse. So we've abandoned the instructions pretty much. We're relying more on asking people. I think this is a walk where we've asked the most people for directions and help. And we're using our ordnance survey. So that's the main port, so we're heading down there. We're gonna take the right hand side of the valley. Okay, we're now even being bare grills. There are fresh footprints on this path. It's a footpath. Seriously, I actually found myself thinking, is this a footpath that's walked regularly <laughs> and looked on the floor? <laughs> the farmer, bless him, he's kept all these styles really lovely, well trimmed. And we've got a coastal hill footpath sign, not the coast path sign. So we know we're on track. Brilliant. time pressure. So where we've just come from is the top one, view dock, and the middle one and the bottom one both say to take this footpath to Mainport. Another two footpath signs. Oh. What? I think this. <gasps> Shean Lunatic. Mad dog. Yes. <laughs> Quick run. <laughs> Obviously we use books with 
kind of pre-designated guided walks quite a lot challenge being can you do it as instructed but I do like occasionally when we get lost that we've got to use our wits we've got to use our brain we know roughly where we're going we've got to get there so this I found quite enjoyable today yes I'm enjoying this a lot a quick update yes. are you enjoying this yeah, walk I am yes no. we're on out in the open and on bridal ways and pathways. This is actually beautiful. It's absolutely idyllic. It's beautiful. It looks as if it's never changed in that trip for 100 years. Yeah. So we know we're getting closer to the sea. You can almost smell it. It's through those trees. Cameras, I don't know why I'm pointing at the camera at the sea, really. You can feel it as well. That yeah. It's just picked up again. Isn't it, it has as we got closer to the coast. Oh, oh yeah. Glinting cars parked up. I haven't been main pause for years. I mean, he's going to catch that seagull somewhere. He's having fun, bless him. So we've made it to Bainforth Beach and we're good for time, so we will be able to meet up with our subscribers and surprise them later and enjoy our week back along the coast path. Brilliant. Yeah, World War II pillbox. Are you in there? I am. Hello. Hiya. I can't see the beach. Very low ceiling. Is it? I must have been really short back then, I reckon, or banging the reds a lot. What's that on chairs? Oh yeah. Well, like deck chairs, you mean? Eating ice creams. I reckon it's a great beach to wear your dog out on. Yeah. YouTube has changed the way that they're inserting adverts, so they are now automatically inserting mid-rolls. So if you wanted to join us on Patreon, you will then have the opportunity to watch Advert Free. Ooh, I'm puffing. Oh, 50 minutes. There's Falmouth Bay. You can see Pendennis on the middle headland there on the horizon. And you've got St Anthony Lighthouse in the distance. And all the way down here, I've been looking for that shipwreck that me and my mum used to come out and watch gradually decay. I think it was a bit further back, but we have been looking at the rocks and I can't see any evidence of it. So there we are looking back now towards main course. The headland in front of us is Rose Mullion. Beyond that is St Kevin on the horizon. There's a church spire with a naked eye that you can see. Probably won't come out on camera. As we're now dropping back into Swampool, yeah. I've been trying to figure out what it is that artistically looks wrong with those beach huts. And of course, there, there should be one in between all of them, shouldn't there? Too far spaced out. And now I realise why it's because of social distancing, isn't it? Do you think that's what they've done? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one that was wondering why the gap? It doesn't look right. <laughs> I just didn't think they built enough. Yeah. Meticulously washed out the sea. Yeah. I'll have that one, I'll and I'll have that, that one. one, and I don't like that one. It's called coastal erosion. <laughs> We're doing a recce now, aren't we? 
Looking for George and Ginny. I think I can see them. I feel naughty, don't you? <laughs> like I'm spying on somebody. Do you remember Secret Squirrel when we were kids? <laughs> well, if he's taken the bait in about two minutes' time, you should take a phone call from his son Colin. Mm. Telling him what's really going on. Ah, bless him, he's taking a phone call. Right, time to put them out their misery. Let's yeah. go say hello to George yeah. and Ginny. Come, Come on. on. Looking for a George and Ginny. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, that was a surprise. Oh, well, there we go. That was a surprise. <laughs> How are you? We very well. We know you. Oh, bless. <laughs> you don't know us. Oh, this is our son of Santa. It is. It's Colin. He just ride me because we're supposed to be meeting somebody completely. Sure. Apparently so. <laughs> well, I never. So we've come to take you up on your offer. Well, that's right. Yeah. That is absolutely brilliant. Would you like to say anything to Colin? Well, we can always bleep it out, George. Uh, I don't know what I would want to say to him now. Oh, what a delightful uh, event. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> We're waiting every day with our tongues out for you to do the next and the next. <laughs> Well, this is, this is as far as I can do. You know? Well, you're doing a cracking job, George. <laughs> right, I'm going to put this down there. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you do that. Bye bye. Cheerio. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Many thanks to Colin. Cheers, Colin. Thanks for helping us set this surprise up. Colin is a fellow Cornish YouTuber. Perhaps you'd like to check out his channel. A surprise! It worked, it worked it's perfectly. Brilliant. It's lovely yeah. to surprise people, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, we've had a great day today. So we're just going to retrace our steps now from Swampool here back to Gillen Bay's where we started today. Our walk today is taken from the Southwest Coast Path website. So let's take a look at the map. We start in Swampool, go behind the lagoon, through the housing, crossing fields to Mainporth. After leaving Mainporth, we'd pick up the Southwest Coast Path back to Swampool. So our walk today. Inspired by George and Ginny, thank you. Yeah, brilliant. So we actually started at Gillen Bay. And then when we started to follow our add-on, yeah, the official add-on, the four and a half mile walk from Swampool. <laughs> it all went we, terribly wrong. We got really stuck there, didn't we? Right at the start yeah. of the walk as well. And uh, anyway, we worked it out in the end. We did have the help of the local post office and lots of uh, passers by. I think we asked about five different people in the end, didn't yeah. we? But once we were actually on track, yeah, uh, it's beautiful, wasn't it? Dropping lovely down walk. into Mainport for a beautiful walk. It's a lovely part of Cornwall. Cool. What a George and Ginny inspired bit is 10 out of 10 for me. But the actual directed walk? Yeah, the one that we actually have officially followed that went from Swampool. Uh, I think we're going to have to give it a 4 out of 10, I think, because we really did struggle at the start. It needed more information. Loads of information about the, the lake at Swampool. Five or six paragraphs, but they have not given enough instructions to get from that point to pick up the walk. There's every possibility that was written before that housing estate oh, was in as well. So, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But if you're going to yeah. do it yourself, just be aware of that and bring your ordnance survey map. Yeah. To help us grow our channel, please subscribe and consider supporting us on Patreon.